2015. Our competitors, Goldie Hyder, President and CEO of Hill & Knowlton Strategies, Bill Robson, President and CEO of the C.D. Howe Institute, and Armin Yalnitsan, Senior Economist at the Canadian Centre for Policy Alternatives. Welcome to you all. We've really been looking forward to this. This is back to high school, (laughs) reached the top. It's going to be great. My money's on Armin already. (laughs) You can place bets. I don't know what the booking agencies have in terms of statistics here, but let me tell you the rules. There's a series of questions. The clues will gradually make the answer clear but if you feel like or you make know us the look uh, more clueless yeah Go. if you feel like you know the answer raise your hand because that is much more civilized than a buzzer and i should also let you know that there will be a prize for the winner of the big picture quiz i am very happy to introduce to you bruce the moose oh, the lord <laughs> the cbc moose is going to something the, to play for excellent to the panelists the winner, not prizes for all who okay. has uh, answered the most questions correctly are you ready are you all ready? Oh, Do you need Lord. to practice your hands? <laughs> no, you don't need There reason. we go. Good. Make it clear, Goldie. I'm Make not it expecting very, to very answer clear. many questions. Yeah, might, as, might as well get it in now. Yeah. Question number one. This politician elected earlier this year was born into a political family. Rachel Notley. Rachel Whoa. Notley, Goldie, <laughs> well done. He gave me an easy one. It's from I'm Alberta. you the score. Rachel <laughs> Notley, the 17th, was Ray. <laughs> the 17th premier in the province's history and the first leader from their party to win the province's uh, highest Justin Trudeau was office. also born into a political family. He was, family which is why I said the clues would build. Ah. So if you had said Trudeau, I would have buzzed you in my most warm and appropriate way. <laughs> Question two. Executive chair of the largest Canadian human resources services organization. Bill well, well done. Oh, there, there's not yeah, a lot yeah. of hands happening yeah, here. Yeah, I'm yeah. hearing a lot of voices, but not a lot of hands. Bill Morneau, as, as you note, let's take a look at this photo. This was going to be the final clue, just in case you couldn't get it. And I'm not sure if it is a swearing in of some sort or if it is the Maori ritual <laughs> of the nose to nose greeting, which is there's something going on. They're staring each other down. That is uh, question two. Here is number three. It is the its first Canadian store opened in March of 2013. Filed for bankruptcy in January. I mean, Target. Target. It is Target, correct? And congratulations. It's totally Target. Look at all those shopping totally carts. Totally on Target. I, I always wonder thought where it was Target, shopping... but yeah. It, it, it is Target. I wonder where those shopping carts went to. Hopefully, they also work in the U.S. That uh, company lost two billion dollars in only, only on its foray into the Canadian marketplace. All right, these are getting progressively more difficult. Uh Here's question number four. He started out as a busker and accordion player before starting his business in 1984. He was Canada's first space tourist, taking flight in 2009. He is also a high-stakes poker player. You're playing high-stakes, Goldie. I never even said the punishment if you get it wrong. Do you want to guess? My hand didn't go all the way up. You were just waving to me. Mark Garneau. Mark Garneau, no. no. Close. Mark Garneau did not have a company to sell. No. This person sold his company for a reported $1.5 billion to a private ec- equity firm and the Caisse de Pau. Most of the performances of his company oh, this is, happen uh, in Guy a tent. Le hey, this is, uh, Guy Le oh, yeah, 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 right on. Point yeah. To a proud Cirque Canadian, a yeah. uh, proud Quebecer who has done very well on the global, on the global stage. All right, this one is uh, interesting. It is also the name of a person. He is currently suspended from his job. So he has more time to ski in the Swiss Alps. That is a very subtle clue there. He announced his resignation in June, but changed his mind later in the month. He was indicted by U.S. officials on charges of bribery and money laundering. And uh, he likes to play with a black and white spherical oh, object. Oh, I don't know his name, but he's the head of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will Blatt. give you a half point. He's the head of FIFA. We don't hang Blatt, out with bladder? Yeah. Bladder. Half Blatt, point, yeah, half yeah. point. Right. I don't know his name, yeah. but FIFA is... <laughs> Sepp Blatter. Blatter, Sepp, Blatter, yeah. Sepp Blatter, the president yeah. of FIFA. He was showered with money at a press conference. He was showered with money. Number six. Like we all like. Now, this be. one I never in a million years would have got, so uh, I set that as context. These two earned a reported $320 million combined for 36 minutes of work in May. The two Five points. The two boxers. <laughs> the two boxers. <laughs> no, 5.6 yeah. million people watched on TV. Thousands Floyd more at somebody the MGM. Or another. <laughs> it was Bill. Floyd's the, 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 yeah, Floyd. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't know. I just know Floyd. But I, don't know I can't remember the other guy. Floyd Merriweather. Anyone? The Manny. guy who's in second place. <laughs> yeah, the guy who's in second. So, so you it's a Latin point. American last name. How's that? Yeah, we can. Yeah. We can Vasquez, share a Vasquez, Vasquez, or I don't know something. Paquino. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was my next guess. <laughs> I, I should have said it with confidence, and then you would have said, "I got yeah, the sport totally right, right out of half the gate." Half point. <laughs> judges record a half point for Armin for getting half my boxing. of the. 
about boxing, I'm not giving that to Maybe you. Maybe Ronda Rousey is the other person. She Question wants to be. number seven. In March, the U.S. parent of this Canadian retailer announced it would close or rebrand all 66 locations of its subsidiary. It was Canada's largest chain of electronics. Radio Shack. Oh, I know. Oh. Radio Shack. Future Shop. No. No. Yes, Future Army. Shop. Yes, very good. Future Shop. Future okay. Shop. Radio Shack bankrupt, is a good. Right? Bankrupt. It's right a good. There. Cultural touch point yes. for Canada. The future yeah. Shop's a Canadian <laughs> story from the beginning. Yeah, right. it was a Canadian yeah. story. Yeah. And if you recall, remember what happened? Best Buy said, We're going to Canada. Yep. They bought Future Shop, yep. and everyone expected they were just going to slap their brand name on it. They didn't they do didn't. that. They kept the banner alive. Best Buy became their big box format. Mm-hmm. Future Shop was smaller locations, and it did really well for a couple mm-hmm. of years until it didn't. It's time for the second round of our big picture quiz. The questions are harder and the points equally important. Goldie, Bill, Armin, good luck. 1.5, 2, and 2. This question, it's a bit of pop culture. He filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in July despite selling more than 25 million albums during his career. His 2000 album was titled Power of the Dollar, which of course I love. What a great title. He sold his stake in Vitamin Water for a reported $60 million to Coke in 2007. He's a rapper with an unfortunately no, no, no. ironic... Is it 50 cents? No. I'm going to give you the point, but really what you mean is 50 cent. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've never heard good. him say it himself. Do you know what? I, I mispronounce it. things like in pop culture. So yeah. I'm going to give that to you. I would not have known that without the uh, kindness of good our job. producers. Good Very job. well I'm done. actually impressed. Side of you, I didn't yeah. know, though. I'm impressed. You <laughs> have really? major, <laughs> major dad cred. That was yeah. street cred major. right there. Right there. Well, I right. pronounced it wrong, so we'll... <laughs> Question nine. Cool. I'm taking it. He passed Bill Gates as the world's richest man in October for only about four hours or so, but he did it. He's the founder of the Inditex Fashion Group. His empire includes Zara, the clothes that are made out of napkins. You know, <laughs> that, that's kind of the thing. Uh, he shares a last name with the current president of Nicaragua. Anyone? Mm-hmm. Anyone? Oh, no. Tough. Is this going to be a zero? Who is Kim Kardashian? There, there's the picture. Take a look at the yeah, picture. Yeah, yeah. Vasquez. It <laughs> rhymes with Schmortega. Oh, no. Anyone? Ortega. Not Ortega. 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 Armin is taking it. Armancio Ortega. I'll give it to you on volume. Yes. I didn't know the name of the president of Nicaragua. <laughs> All right, we'll give you that. Th- this next one is one hair easier. This former CEO appeared in a series of commercials for his company's products. Uh, he studied metallurgy and metal physics at the University of Stuttgart and received a PhD, which is why we call him doctor. <laughs> he resigned as chairman of Volkswagen in oh. September. Oh, oh, oh. And all the CEOs named Martin something or another. But no. yeah. Okay, yeah. here's my Mr. last one. Yeah. Not Mr. Diesel, but we're close. Yeah. If you serve popcorn on a very cold night in February, you call it winter corn. Uh, I said Martin. Martin. I said Martin. Corn. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I'm not giving you the first, first name. Martin. Martin. You said Chairman. He's CEO. Judges, right? that, that is Martin Wintercorn. That is it. Martin and I go way back. <laughs> Zero points. Zero points on that one. It could have been any first name, but I chose Martin. I, you know what? I, I'm, I'm with you all the way you for go. your first name. Half a point. You yeah. can take it up with the Russian judge. For now, the no. verdict is... Zero. It's, we're fighting for the moose here, by the way, in case he, we forgot. We can remember the moose. <laughs> Not nice. a CW owner. Nice. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. Look at that cute moose. Kind of looks like the answer. Oh, my God. Right? A little. <laughs> Our next question. He is the founder of Turing Pharmaceuticals. He became public enemy number one in September for oh. raising the price of a pharmaceutical. Uh, this was a pharmaceutical uh, for AIDS patients, so very controversial. The pill was $13. Yes. It went up to $750. And let's take a look at his picture. He looks like a character on the Gossip Girls television show to me. And or like the stereotype of the frat dude in the 80s or something like like Fast Times at Richmond High or something like that. Anyone? <laughs> He's also a Martin. No. Not Nobody I know. Uh, it rhymes with pork belly. What? Martin. <laughs> what? Martin Shkreli. Oh. Okay, that's a zero. Wow, crickets. <laughs> it also crickets doesn't rhyme with one. pork belly. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, this one's going to be boss, good. Bruce. This one's going to be good. This it is the next one. This historical figure has been immortalized in a Broadway production which will win the Tony this June or I will eat my shoe. 
Kiki okay. Boots? No, that won the Tony, but not this year. Good. From the Love audience? how you worked that in. From the audience? <laughs> in June, the U.S. Treasury said it would put a woman on the next design version of the $10 bill, possibly mm-hmm. removing him from its current version. He is the first secretary of the Treasury. I okay, this. I have one more amazing... It is. And why did you say not? It's Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And Hamilton. And you I guess must... I'm showing my inner insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And your ignorance of Broadway musicals. Where are my, where <laughs> which are my I sports think is questions? Is what I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galling. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton, uh, who has a resurgence. I can't imagine that this time in history they would take him off the $10 bill, given how he is now shocking on a new role in pop Given culture. we all knew him so well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> clearly you did. All right. This is uh, one more question here. It is a difficult one. Mm-mm. One served as finance minister, and I want full names on this one. Full names. Not one served as finance minister of his country for only seven months. The other won two general elections in 2015. The two men oversaw Greece in snap elections, a financial crisis, and an eventual default on its debts. Mm-hmm. Armin. So Yanis Varoufakis is one. Yes. And something of the other, Tsipras. Yes. Yes. So yes. So we have to know his first, is. Alexis? So Alexis. Oh, no. Alexis. Cipra. You oh, got a full point. You are right. Right. Like, 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 was in the name. Well, All right. Well, we're going to. My Greek in laws will never forgive me if I don't get half a point on this. I have no Greek in me, as you can tell. Work it. You want to I'm just getting the score from the judges here. I'm getting the stores. Bill has four. Armin has four. And Goldie has. One and a half. One and a half. Yeah. Okay. No sports questions. We're well, the sports for the, questions. For the writer, Martin, you, you I said Martin. I'm still debating the Martin one. half a point one. for Martin. <laughs> we, we began this segment with... Um, An easy one. 1.5. This and is you cold got running. Got nothing. Yeah. Like, okay, well, there's got to be a, um, a, a time tester question here. Uh, here is the last and final question. It only goes to Bill or Armin. Uh, of course, I'm going to know this The one. question <laughs> is, stand by with the photo. Who are our favorite panelists? Uh, <laughs> who are they? The one who hears no evil? The one who hears no evil. Look at that. They're amazing. <laughs> you three are amazing. I, I should have uh, done this all day today, though. <laughs> you should have done that all day. That is clearly an ineffective, uh, an ineffective question. Here is the final question that we are going to ask, and that is for you to name the Minister of Immigration. John McCollum. Oh, good for you. You're yes. ineligible. It is a tiebreaker for the two people who actually... As Goldie said, John McCallum. John McCallum. Okay, here's my question. I'm going to judge. What is your favorite story of uh, 2015, Armin? What is your favorite story of uh, 2015, Bill? Oil. Oil. Bill. Yeah, I was going to say much you the same thing. You can't agree on everything. So, I'm trying to break Great Canadian moment. Here. They're tied. Yeah. <laughs> the Fed shows a pulse, finally the does Fed something. The Fed shows a pulse and finally does a- something... And I give it to Armin. <laughs> Armin, <laughs> congratulations. Thank God, Bill. Brian the Moose <laughs> is living at your house for the next 12 months. That is great. Until we meet. meet it's only a deserved winner. A deserved winner. This, is like, winner. this winner. is like the Stanley Cup. We're going to be know. engraving. Like we're going to be engraving your name in a sweater or embroidering his name in your sweater. I, I think one, just like uh, one quick cool. round here. Yes. I have one, one last question for each of you. What is the one thing you're most excited about in the business, in the world of business and economy, for 2016? What is one thing? You're looking ahead saying, you got to watch that. That is going to be interesting. Perhaps yeah. it could be the topic of our first big picture in the new year. What do you think, Armin? I think it's going to be slow growth. Sloth, as slow, I like to call it. Sloth, Bill. I, I, the reason I mentioned the Fed showing the pulse is yes. I do not like how everybody is trying to make everything stable and not Sloth move. When you do that, things one more. crack. Okay, yes. Infrastructure spending. Infra- Yours is the least interesting, but thank you for selling it to me. Help our economy. One hopes it. we need it. Thank you for participating in the first big picture quiz ever in history. And, and last, congratulations, I hope. Armin.